The First Take, presented by Chase. This just in, a league source has told ESPN that former Jets quarterback Michael Vick is on his way to Pittsburgh to meet with the Steelers. According to a source, Bruce Gradkowski dislocated his left finger and is having surgery today and will be out three to four weeks. Vick was with the Jets last season, starting three games. Joining us now, very fitting, Mr. Steeler himself, the Hall of Famer, Jerome Bettis. Thank you so much for By the for way, us. quickly, congratulations on your Hall of Fame speech. Mm. You just lit up the night with your words. Thank you. I appreciate that. beautiful. Thank you. Mm -hmm. You are. You are. Oh, come on. <laughs> <laughs> I got, I, Congrats, I, I, boy. I got his, his uh, you know, his accolades and praise uh, on the on the, his radio show. So okay. I understand. I'm not going to get enough. it twice. I get that. Uh, I understand. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Back to Michael Vick. Yes. Congratulations. Your reaction to Michael Vick potentially going to your Steelers? You know, initially I thought to myself, I don't really see the fit uh, because you say to yourself, his you know his game is not really suited to mirror a Ben Roethlisberger in his game. So yeah. usually the backup quarterback is going to really be the same type of quarterback mm -hmm. that your starter is going to be. And then I thought to myself, well, Coach Tomlin is from uh, Virginia, the same part of the country mm -hmm. where Michael Vick is from. Good point. And I started to think, well, maybe, possibly, in the back of Coach Tomlin's mind, there was a time when he felt that he would want to have Michael Vick on his football team in some form of fashion. So this may be an opportunity to say, you know what, I want to bring Michael Vick in, give him an opportunity to show what he can do uh, if he can still get it done and you know help his career but also help our football team because maybe just maybe we may need him in the event that Ben Roethlisberger goes down that's the only thing I think really makes sense in terms of bringing him to Pittsburgh well, I, I definitely think that, you know, that that's a point. But I think you can utilize Michael Vick in some other capacities. I think he could be somebody that can, that can run the football for you on play action, you know, uh, you know what, what the read option, whatever the case may be. You can utilize him to throw a couple of passes on trick plays and things of that nature. I think Michael Vick, if he's focused and he's not asleep because somebody tells him he's got no shot of being the starting quarterback because the job belongs to Geno Smith, as long as he makes sure of that, I think he'll be fine. And I do believe, I really, really believe in my heart of hearts that it's best for Michael Vick to be a backup at this juncture in his career. Listen, guys, the brother can play. He may not be the greatest pass in the world, but he was a playmaker. But he has taken such tremendous hits over the last several years that he, he he's football's version of somebody being punched drunk. So to me, the way I look at it, it's best for him to play a reserve role where he's inserted in there in case of emergencies. But outside of that, just be somebody holding that clipboard or comes in there from time to time and makes a couple of plays for you. That's about it. Man, I love your Tomlin point. I, I like what Stephen A. said. But my overriding emotion here is I'm sad for Michael Vick because he's so much better than holding a clipboard replacing Gradkowski, the third-string quarterback, for about a month because he had surgery on a finger on his left hand and is supposed to be back in three, four weeks. And it's come to that for Michael Vick. And yet, I was never the biggest Landry Jones fan. I'm an Oklahoma fan, so I watched all his snaps at the University of Oklahoma. He is a poor man's Roethlisberger because he's a big strapping kid. So in size and stature, he's been. I did not watch him the other night, but he threw for 172 in the second half of their preseason game. Two touchdowns, one interception. I don't know. I don't love him. I don't think he's a long-term answer as your next guy, yeah. you know, and to, to replace Roethlisberger. So the, the idea of using Mike Vick as a gadget occasionally, it, I don't know. It just it, it jars me because it's beneath his dignity, even though you could say at his advanced age he should just take what, what Tomlin can give him. But you, you would think he could go compete for time, for playing time. And if, I, unless they have decided Landry Jones is not the backup answer, is that possible? Maybe. It's possible. Okay, but now we're back to what you, your initial point. You're going to replace Ben with the guy who does everything Ben doesn't? Where you would have to change your offense dramatically for Michael Vick, right? With everything you do would be the flip side of what Ben does. 
right? Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. And it's not. And let me let me say this. I believe Michael Vick can throw the football. So make no mistake mm -hmm. about it. It's not that he doesn't have that ability. That's not his strength. But he still can get back and, and, and drop back and throw the ball with some type of, of consistency and, to, and accuracy. And That's, velocity. And He's velocity. Got a big he arm. still has yeah. that ability. Sure. It's just that I don't see this offense. If he had went to Seattle... And you of say, course. okay, I oh. see, I yeah. see that sure. offense. Mobile quarterback. Very mobile quarterback. I see that offense fitting into a Michael Vick. But when you look at the, the offense that's built around Ben Roethlisberger, I just don't see the immediate uh, connection with a Michael Vick. But I think it, it does help Michael Vick in the sense that it puts his name back okay. in, in circulation. Yeah, that's good. Okay, and so maybe that's what is needed because, again, like you said, Michael Vick needs to have an opportunity. I think he still has uh, some, some skills uh, that can be put on display. So I think he needs another opportunity. Yep. My thing, guys, I think that we, uh, Skip, I said this to you many times on this show. Jerome, I'm going to say it again. I saw Michael Vick with the Philadelphia Eagles get hit in the ribs and grab his head. I saw him get hit blindside wise down near the two yard line against Arizona. All right. Dropped like a corpse while, you know, the fumble went all the way, the, you know, the other way for a touchdown for Arizona. This guy has been hit. It's not about his ability. I think he can run. I think he can throw. The problem is, is that can he take hits? Mm -hmm. That's my question about Michael Vick at this stage of his career. Yeah. So, Stephen A., do you agree with Jerome that it could be a Tomlin just trying to take care of Michael Vick and, and try it's to get him back in circulation? It's entirely possible. Yeah. Tomlin is loyal to cats from that area. Yeah. You know, he wants he wants to he wants those guys to have a chance. He you know, he, he he's the kind of guy that wanted to reach out to Allen Iverson to let him know that anything you need, uh, I'm here to help yep. if I can. He's got that kind of soul, particularly when it comes uh, to, to cats from his own community. He's mm -hmm. that kind of man. So it's entirely plausible. Yep. So we like seeing Vic getting a shot, just maybe yeah. not the most natural fit with right. Big Ben being such a pure pocket passer. Uh, not the only quarterback with hand issues. The Steelers obviously dealing with it. We discussed with Gradkowski. Peyton Manning.